Hello everyone! Roxas here, welcome you to episode number 3 of our Trauma Center Under the Knife 2 Let's Play. On the last episode, we fixed the mistake and that Abdel Toba made. And uh, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. I tried to get a better grade, but that didn't happen, so I'm sad about that. And yeah, on today's episode we're going to continue with this game and see what it has to offer. First, the thing I said about... I said last episode about maybe Dr. Styles and Angie being Japanese in the Japanese version of the game. But I couldn't find any info on that. I actually found out that Derek was born in LA. <laughs> um, I was uh, actually kind of afraid to be uh, spoiled about something in the game. I know I've played this game before, but it was so long ago that I barely remember anything. <laughs> so, yeah, um, here we are, and we're gonna continue, and I tried to find out um, again about the origins of Dr. Styles and stuff like that, but I came up with nothing, and the Japanese version of Wikipedia, that, that was my main thing I searched for in Wikipedia, but Google Translate sometimes doesn't make sense, so, and I don't know Japanese, so that was for nothing. <laughs> and yeah, and let's continue through the game and see what happens from there on out. But as far as we know, Dr. Styles is from LA, so start this episode. Hidden Peril. You're here! Hey Sylvia, what can I do for you? I'm leaving for the administration office. Would you like me to pick anything up for you? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I would, it would be nice if we had some sweets up for the kids. Okay, I'll pick up some candy then. What about for the doctors? Don't even bother, they're too busy. Sounds like Dr. Toba doing just fine then. Well, see you later. Be careful out there. Oh no, something's gonna happen to her. One hour later. <laughs> oh, I'm finally done with my rounds. Welcome back, Dr. Toba. Oh, thank you, Miss Thompson. What are you up to? I'm writing my report to Caduceus USA. Wow, sounds like a lot of work. I'm on top of it, but that's not necessarily true for e everyone. Is that so? Angie. Ah, there you are, Angie. Was today the deadline for our report? That's correct. Th that's not good. I've been so busy lately that I haven't even started. That's what happens when you procrastinate. <laughs> yep, that happened. I wasn't really procrastinating. You're always procrastinating. Always! <laughs> oh, you'll never learn. How many times do I have to tell you to start shaping up your own office work? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. On the next one. Jeez. <laughs> Here, I, I wrote our part of the report, but look over it before we send it out. Uh, you did it for me? Thank you. Wow, you're amazing, Angie. You're a lifesaver even outside the OR. Thank you. This will be the last time. Is it clear? Oh, of course. <laughs> I love Angie. Okay, a new emergency. Dr. Styles, a patient urgently requiring care is being carried in. What happened? The car that go. Oh no. Is Sylvia okay? Sylvia! The car that the NGO workers were on it hit a landmine. Jesus Christ! The two sitting in the front died instantly. <gasps> Okay, 
but the woman sitting in the back survived. However, she's in critical condition. A woman? Who is she? It's Miss Warnberg. This can't be. <laughs> oh, Sylvia! I knew something was gonna happen to her. Uh... Oh my! Please, Doctor. Dr. Styles, please help her. Of course, I'll do everything in my power. Oh my god, I'm gonna operate on Sylvia! Warrenburg S. Sylvia. Wow, she's skinny. Okay. Fractured lower left rib cage and damage to the spleen. Oh, it's gonna be a two part operation, I think. Uh, bone reformation and treatment of the spleen are necessary. Okay, I'll explain the patient's condition. There are fractures on the lower left of her rib cage. The bone fragments have pierced her spleen. Okay, maybe... No, I'm confusing the spleen with some... somewhere else. <laughs> and are causing abdominal hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging. A landmine. There's so many of them that still need to be removed and disposed of. Sylvia, why did it... Angie! Angie! Huh? Yes, Doctor? We have to concentrate on the task at hand. We need to be strong, for Sylvia's sake. I want to save her, and you do too, right? Then let's try to stay focused on the operation. Y yes, Doctor. I apologize. There are two objectives in this operation. Retrieve bone fragments, treat the spleen, and reform the rib cage. Stop the ab abdominal hemorrhaging. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> let's give Sylvia everything we can, Dr. Styles. There's no time. Okay, we're gonna let's jump begin. right into it. Do, 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 do. This isn't good. That's a spleen, that's a long. What's a spleen? Hold on. Okay, Sylvia can can wait a little bit. <laughs> of course this wouldn't happen on a regular basis, but still. More bones we have to to reattach. I'm gonna say it that way. Okay, where's the spleen? Place multiple... Okay, it's an organ. Okay, I guess I can... I know. Okay. Okay, I know what it is, but I can't... <laughs> I have to try... I have to translate it to know which part of the body it was, but yeah. I guess we're gonna find it... Find it in the operation, then. Okay, her piles I can allow, so maybe the first thing I'm gonna do is save her. Life points. Uh, the damage to the spleen is severe. The hemorrhaging has caused her vitals to drop. We need to treat the wound and retrieve the bone fragments quickly. Ah! What? Okay, maybe Sylvia can't wait. <laughs> Doctor! She's going into cardiac arrest! Doctor, hurry! We have the defibrillator to resuscitate her. The paddles of, for the defibrillator appear whenever the patient goes into cardiac arrest. First, slide the paddles on the center of the screen. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. The paddles are set. Keep holding the panels for the charge gouge to fill up. Then go when the gouge reaches the green section, let go. Leave the stylus off the screen. Okay. The closer you are to the green area, when you let go, the more effective it'll it'll be. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't very precise on the green thingy, but it, it loaded very fast. We have a pulse, thank goodness. But if we don't hurry, she may go into cardiac arrest again. Let's try to finish before that happens. Okay, and let's try this. Uh, Jesus Christ! That's a lot! That wound is so large! Hang in there, Sylvia. Doctor, we can't suture a wound that opened up like this. Gas one edge of the wound with a forceps and close it so it can be sutured. Pull it together until the wound becomes a single laceration. 
Okay, with the four saves. Boom. So, sure. No, I have to. Okay. First, let's do this. I know that maybe if she goes into Cardiac Arrest, that's gonna drop. Like the first time we did it. Okay. Uh, now let's go here. Punk. Oh no! Did I do that? <laughs> An organ injury must have occurred. She has some wounds that will progressively, progressively worsen. You have to treat the lacerations while you work on to retrieve the bone fragments. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. I think I get it now. What? I was not in no way even close to there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Jesus Christ, why so much? Okay, that wasn't the best structure in the world, but... Let's continue. I need to be a little bit more careful with the structures, I guess. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Okay, this laceration, one last bone. And if I'm not mistaken... Oh, of course, now there's two of them. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. Bad? Oh god, I got a bad! Use the four steps. Four steps? Wait. Let me inject a little bit more life to Sylvia. Doctor. I don't know where these things go. Here? Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't look like it. Here? Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 here? Okay. Uh, here? Okay. Just as I thought, there aren't enough bone fragments. Could they still be inside the body? But where? Ah! Good. A flatline. She's gone under cardiac arrest. Doctor, we have to resuscitate her. <laughs> Woo! First try! Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god. The location of the last bone fragment has been confirmed. We can't believe. I can't believe. It's here. The bone fragment is locked into the spleen. We need to extract it with caution. Okay. I don't know what she said, but... Okay. Let's use the sutures. Oh! Bug fragments were have been affixed. We, we're done. Researchers are ready. Hold on, let's put a little bit more life to Sylvia because she's gonna die if I don't do this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's apply the antibiotic gel. No, this is not the antibiotic gel. I got a bad. That's that's bad. That Whoa! Operation complete. Well done, Dr. Styles. Sylvia, I'm so glad that we pulled it's all right. you full, pulled through. Don't worry, Angie. Sylvia is a strong woman. Sure, she'll be all right. Oh no, I didn't change the operating room. I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bad, a bad uh, grade, so I'm gonna try this operation again. Right, Doctor. I need to remember to change the layout. Maybe when I edit this, I can change it manually. Won't it don't reopen? Oh! I did get an A! I got a bad also. I ain't complaining. But still. Poor Sylvia. Thank goodness. Sylvia, I'm so glad you made it. Angie, am I alive? Of course you are. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Dr. Styles. I never imagined it would be me who needed to, to be saved by you guys. Dr. Styles. 
Thank you. Thanks to you, Sylvia is still alive. I can tell you how much this means to me. It's not like I did it alone. You did your best too. Doctor. Okay. I oh, see the war. I think I have time for another operation. This time I hope I can remember to change the layout into an operating room. As I said, I'm gonna try to change it so that we can have the operating room in post-production, but for now, let's keep it that way. Hope I remember, also. Uh, yeah, let's start with the next one, I think I have time. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Civil War. Hey, Dr. Styles. How are things going for you? Yeah. So-so, I guess. We have the same problem as always. We never seem to have enough medical supplies. I see. I wish I could help, but there, the army is short on gear too. Sorry. It's alright. I understand the situ your situation. So what brings you here today? I'm on patrol. Three days ago, the camp at Guna... Guna? was attacked by anti-government guerrillas. See? There were extremists from their Razo tribe. The bastards. <laughs> How long do they plan on drawing out this war? The Razo tribe's grudge against the Dao tribe runs deep. You're that new doctor I met from the... I met the other day, right? From the Razu? Yes, and you're from the Dal tribe. My people believe that they are being exploited by the tr by your tribe for many years. Still, that's no excuse to go around committing mass murder, is it? But that's just a handful of extremists. I'm not likely to start a fight, so let's just change the subject. Okay. Anyway, Doctor, you should know that this area is becoming more dangerous. What the? Uh oh. We're under attack! It must be those gorillas. Doctors, please take cover! Jesus Christ! Doctor Styles, it's too dangerous here. Let's hide behind that cabin. Good, good idea. Fire at will! <laughs> Don't let those gorilla bastards get near the camp! What's going on? Andy. Get down! <laughs> oh no, they hit her? Are you alright, Angie? I'm okay. What in the world is going on? We're being attacked by gorillas. Lower your head, Miss Thompson. Ah! Keep firing! Damn it, we can't go anywhere like this. <laughs> it would be safer for us to just stay here, Dr. Styles. But if those gorillas get any closer. What then? If that happens, run for your lives! Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's comforting advice. <laughs> Wait, are they leaving? The gunfire is in the snow. Oh no, they stole something. You're right. They must have retreated. <sighs> then we're gonna be okay. I'm so relieved. Doctor! Doctor Styles, come quickly! We've got some wounded here. They need your help. Understood. I'm on my way. Okay. Dalmar Madu, bullet left inside the heart. Ouch. Extraction of the bullet is and hemostasis are necessary. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure that they're gonna explain that to us right now. Our patient has been shot in the chest. There is one bullet wound. This isn't good. 
his blood pressure and pulse are both decreasing. Hemorrhaging is severe and condition is critical. We have just one objective in this operation. Extract the bullet locked in the heart. Because of the wound's location, the patient could go into cardiac arrest. Please be careful, doctor. <laughs> Got it. Reggie, I'll be counting on you to keep an eye on the electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram. Understood. Okay. Let's begin the operation. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's remember to change into the operating room. Uh -huh. Let's begin the operation. Okay. The patient's condition is very unstable. Please perform the procedure carefully. Okay, first let's drain this. Ah! Okay, okay. I think that little blue line is the max health he has. If I'm not mistaken, I have to grab the fort. Oh! I thought I have to close the wound first. Now I think I'm gonna have to open it. Yes. Jesus Christ, that's a... A big thingy. For a bullet wound. Oh well, okay. This is worse than I imagined. We should prioritize draining the blood first. Let's drain the blood, but keep an eye for the bullet round. I'm gonna give him a little bit more life. Come on. Okay, let's open this. Let's drain this. Four saves to get the bullet out. Wait, this isn't a complete bullet. <laughs> bullet aren't shaped like that. The many half must still be inside. This is dangerous, but please continue extracting it. Ah, cardiac arrest. He's undergone ca doctor. He's undergone cardiac cardiac arrest. We need to resuscitate him. I'll get the defibrillator and. No, wait. We can't do that with the bullet still locked in him. Resuscitating him may cause damage to his heart. No. I'll continue extracting it while he's in cardiac arrest. We can resuscitate him. We can resuscitate him afterwards. Understood, Doctor. Continue the operation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's open up the affected area Well, we keep an eye on his vitals. Jesus Christ. No, no, no. I don't like this. I'm gonna have to open it again. Use the drain. Use the forceps. Okay, this is the tip of the bullet. Okay, we can use the defibrillator, bit, defibrillator now. Resuscitate him, right, Doctor? Hurry! Bunk. Bunk! Not so close. Bunk! No pulse yet. Doctor Style! Yeah. We have a pulse. His vials are stabilizing too. Doctor, let's close him up. Okay. Uh, suture, suture. Suture, 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 suture. I don't think his HP can go any higher. Than that, yeah, that's what the blue line means. Punk. Operation complete. Well done, indeed, do Doctor. Thanks, Angie, but there must be more injured people. Let's move on to tree on treating them. By the way, Doctor. Oh, I thought that we were gonna have another patient right away. <laughs> to surgery side by side. No misses! Okay. The less times I use the defibrillator, the better. A rank! I don't know why I got a B on the last episode. But yeah, we did two operations on this episode, and it's kind of short one. So I'm happy with this. <sighs> we managed to treat everyone somehow. Yes! I can't believe so many people got wounded in such a short period of fighting. What really is dreadful? Yeah, you're right. Dr. Styles! How did everything go, Adele? <sighs> Operating on five people in a row was intense, but I managed to get through it somehow. You did five patients in a span of in that span of time? Well done. 
If there's one thing I'm confident about, it's my speed. It's all that... That's all thanks to a great mentor. I think your smooth talking skills are improving right along with your medical prowess. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Talba, I heard that there were children spotted along with those gorillas, is that true? Yes, they had child soldiers. I operated on one who had been forced into service. These children are kidnapped from their villages during guerrilla raids. They're pretty much brainwashed and then used as human shields by the soldiers. This can't be... Jeez, this is so hard, so dark. What? How can they be so cruel? Miss Thompson, I'm afraid that's the reality of life in my country. <laughs> Ellipses. Okay. We've gotten all A's except for the novice mistake, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. Uh, I don't know how I can improve the novice mistake. Maybe between episodes I'm gonna try to get that better. Uh, that grade better. Or improved at least. But yeah, for now I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. On the next one we're gonna continue with this story. We're still at war. We're... Technically, still learning about the different kinds of, of medical things that we have to do. Today we actually learned how to use the defibrillator. So, that's something new that we did. We used it twice in both operations, the Hidden Imperial and the Civil War. But yeah, for now, uh, I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here, and on the next one we're gonna continue with the Fever episode. So yeah, that's it! Thank you for watching, leave a like if you did, and it's time to wrap it up! Bye-bye!